Thank you, Marin. Oh, my. Bjergsen, farewell. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? What? Soren here, or Bjergsen, and um, I'm feeling a little nervous filming this video. I think it's one of the first times in a very long time where I'm making something, kind of talking directly to the fans. I think the last time I can really remember doing something like this is like the old school TSM vlogs uh, that I used to do back in 2014, 2015. Um, but um, I want to make this video personally because I want to talk to you guys about the fact that I am stepping away from League of Legends and esports in general and, and why. Uh, I know this might seem very abrupt, but I want to just make it clear that it's not about our result. It's not about, you know, the team, my teammates, the split, and, and definitely not about 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves has treated me very well. It's something that's been on my mind for a long time. And just more recently and throughout Spring Split, it just became clearer and clearer to me that this is kind of what I wanted. There is no like, one reason uh, for this decision. This year, playing with 100 Thieves is my 11th year of playing competitively, which is a very long time to kind of be doing the uh, the same thing or working towards the same goal, being in the same industry. And I've been playing League of Legends for probably like half my life at this point. It just doesn't feel as fulfilling as it did when I was younger, just spending all my time playing League, studying League, and just chasing winning above everything else. The way I see it is either you really enjoy the day-to-day -day of practicing, preparing, and, and competing every single week, or you are really like sacrificing your love for the game and enjoyment of competition for the long term of trying to work your ass off to win a championship or win an international tournament. And I think just neither of those really are resonating with me anymore. And the last time I won a championship was 2020 summer. And it seems like everything is gonna be great if you win a championship or you accomplish this thing that you wanna accomplish. But I think the, just the joy oh. of that achievement is just fleeting for me. I think just because of the amount of depth that League has, how many champions are in the game, how much the game changes, you have to put in a ton of time if you wanna stay at the top. Studying, practicing, thinking about the game, theory crafting. And I always felt like that was a big core reason for my success was just that I worked harder than a lot of people and I wanted it more than a lot of those people. And I was willing to sacrifice, you know, time with friends, family, personal interests, hobbies, personal curiosities, really just anything. For a long time, I've kind of felt and, and even told the people around me that if I didn't feel like I could give my absolute all towards winning and towards being the best and felt like I could be one of the best players in the world, um, that then it would be time to stop. And um, it feels like that time is now. I think for some of you, this might feel like a, a second retirement of some kind. But uh, when I moved to coaching a couple of years ago, even though people said that I retired, it never really felt like that to me. It just felt like a transitioning of roles, but ultimately still working towards winning championships, still working towards success within League of Legends, just from a slightly different perspective within the team. To me, this is really my first and only in my career, like step away from competing and, and from League of Legends esports. I really wish all the best to my former teammates and coworkers at 100 Thieves, and I hope they find success in Summer Split. I'll be rooting for them uh, from the sidelines as a fan. A lot of you are probably wondering what is next for me, and um, to be honest, I don't really know. Uh, I've kind of made the decision to not uh, immediately go into coaching or streaming or something adjacent to pro playing, and I want to just kind of take some time away with friends and family and I just kind of want to see what my life is like when my identity and all my time is not tied up in, in League of Legends and trying to achieve competitive success. I don't know if at some point I'm going to return to League of Legends or the esports industry, um, but all I know is right now I'm going to take some time away and that I don't know what the future holds and just to be okay with, with stepping into that uncertainty.
I, I never thought in the beginning that I would be able to do this for so long. I thought, you know, maybe I'll just play professionally a year and then maybe I'll have to go back to school or two years. And now I'm sitting here like 10 plus years later and it's just all very surreal and it's all thanks to you guys. And um, yeah, I just want to thank the people that, uh, you know, everyone that, that took a chance on me, everyone that decided to help me become a better person, better leader, better player, uh, everyone that believed in me along the way and supported me. Uh, I could never have achieved anything in League of Legends without all these people helping me along the way, making me a, a smarter and better person. So uh, hopefully you guys know who you are watching the video. Too, so thank you guys. Oh. It's I... Genji. It's a team that we've lost. Wow. Normally, um, like goodbye or retirement videos don't really get to me, but I think this this one really gets to me for a couple of reasons. One, his tenure in this game is, especially at like the highest levels, it's 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 very rare. We don't we don't have a lot of players that exist, um, you know, ten plus years, uh, at, at the very top of their level. Um, I think Bjergsen, um, in my opinion, he was always someone that not only was he a pillar of the Western League of Legends scene, he was also attacked many times for basically doing nothing, right? Think about the amount of like drama narratives that surrounded him that had nothing to do with him. Um, people just wanted to see him lose. Um, I mean, now he, he has a lot of fans, but what I mean is there's a lot of people that wanted to see him lose. Um, there were a lot of people that, despite him never streaming, never tweeting, etc., they would say horrible things about him on, on Reddit and Twitter and, like, all this other stuff, and I think that he was a really good example that you could do so many things right, and you'll still have people dislike you, and I think it's really hard to pause and realize that personalities like him exist in the scene. I think Faker's another really good one. Um, where like even Faker has haters and stuff like that, but I think it, it's I think it's really hard to say anything bad about Bjergsen in general. I mean, it, I, I think it's like really not possible. Um, this this retirement feels really bad. The other thing um, about it is like hearing him talk about it uh, or a lot of things. I think that that resonates with a lot of people in league and. It's weird when you hear someone who doesn't say many words, and obviously that's him, make a proper video talking about things, and you just find yourself sort of agreeing with, you know, yes, a lot of time has passed. Yes, a, a lot of the time in your life is consumed by the game and, like, all this other stuff, and it feels really weird um, because you agree with, everything that he says and it feels really bad to see someone who I think was extremely passionate and cared a lot about the game really step away because I think these last few years a lot of people have been worried about like League of Legends right every single year there's like as Faker are gonna retire the stuff comes up so then Faker you know made the comment that he would play for a couple more years and I think this is like a question looming on a lot of people's minds and people talk about it a lot when they look at LEC and LCS and stuff like that and I think that his, his video sort of is like a reality that like we're all getting older. We all grew up with each other in, in many ways and I don't mean like me and him or you know mean anyone. I mean like League of Legends grew up with each other and we're all... um. I feel like we're all on the precipice of going different ways almost in a in a in a weird way. And in a weird way it reminds I don't know. His video was really was really well done. Um I I I I don't know. Normally I don't, I don't I feel like I don't give two shits when I read retirement posts or that someone's taking a break, but this one this one really does bother me. Um 
for a lot of reasons. I respect everything that he said. I agree with a lot of the things that he's saying bothers him and, and why he wanted to make this. I, I feel like I can understand it. And I feel like he was nothing but a positive force for the game and for fandoms and, and other things. Oh, that's a weird thing to wake up to right before the series. Oh, man. He's one of the greatest esports players I'll probably ever have the. I mean, I, I ever be fortunate enough to be in like the same, um, you know, community as, in a way. Like, there's plenty. Of, there's amazing esports players in different titles and stuff, right? But you don't really know them. We're all a part of League of Legends. And um. Normally goodbyes don't feel bad, but this this one feels really bad. Never even really talked to him. We've only ever um exchanged a couple of words with one another in like Twitter. Oh man. Oh, oh, this is sad. Wow. I hope Doublelift uh, also doesn't decide to like leave, leave, because I know that Doublelift. Um, I think Doublelift uh w was burned out of co streams and live views and stuff too. After two years of doing it, I think that's also partly why I wanted to come back to playing and. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm just going off of, like, memories from conversations, and my memories on these combos could be wrong with him. Um, but I hope Doublelift doesn't also choose to step away. That'd be... It'd be really sad. Okay. All right. <clears throat> 